Hello my friend, today I want to show you how you can disable Windows Security System, Windows Antivirus or whatever you call it. So, the first step is you have to enter this command in your Windows PowerShell. Copy. That's the way I'm gonna enter to Windows PowerShell. Right click on Start and Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Just right click and they're gonna paste the text and press the enter. The operation completed successfully. So the second command. Copy. Windows PowerShell. Paste. Enter. The operation completed successfully. Okay. So, and enter this command by the way. G P A D dot S C. Go to this location. Computer can be configuration and administrative templates. Windows Components and Microsoft Defender. So just click on this part and first start with uh, turn off auto exclusion or exclusion and enable it turn off this enable okay and go back turn all real-time protection turn off real-time protection press enable I already enabled that before I record this video enable and go back and turn off Microsoft antivirus press enable and OK turn off wrong time remediation oh maybe I mispronounced it ok enable and click on OK so we are finished so let's check the Windows antivirus Go to Windows setting, update and security, Windows security, okay. If we enter to the Windows security system, what is that? Your virus and threat protection is managed by an, uh, your organization. Recommendation, yeah, I pronounce it right. So that means it doesn't work. That's turn off. Okay, for example, I'm gonna try to extract a file which is Windows known it as a virus. Let me extract it. Where is that? Yeah. So, and there we go. I can act it. I'll let me open the file. Okay, what is set? Uh, this application may cause damage to your device. Sensitive personal data may be ordered to be a, also be a risk more info run anyway there we go as you can see this application can work fine which is windows known it as an virus which is not a virus everything works fine this method works on windows 10 windows server 
Windows 11 and other windows like Windows 8.1 or 8. And if all this method didn't work for you, just download this file, it's from Casper Sky. Antivirus, you can download this baths file and run it in your Windows. I'm going to show you the file. open the file so here's the file you can just if all this stuff didn't work for you just go to this link and extract it on your desktop and click on run as administrator so I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna restart my computer if you're using a Windows server Maybe you shouldn't run this file. You know what I'm talking about. And what is the second link? What the second link gonna do? Uh, let me. I'm gonna put all this link on the video description. Don't be worried about it. It's a GitHub link. Okay, so. Yeah, and their dependent remo remover. You can go to this link and use this file. That's all, guys. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget. Okay, I'm gonna add. Can we add a. gpedit.msc group policy editor file wow. save thanks for watching